Hello student, today we are going to study Hoffman methods separation of 1 degree, 2 degree and 3 degree of mine separation of primary, secondary and tertiary mine we know that primary amines are the derivative of ammonia derivative of ammonia if one hydrogen is replaced by alkyl group R and S2 is formed this is 1 degree amine and if two hydrogen is replaced by two alkyl group then this is called secondary amine two degree amine and if three hydrogen is replaced by three alkyl group then this is tertiary or three degree amines we have to separate this one degree two degree and three degree amine by Hoffman methods Hoffman methods is very uh, convenient and suitable method for the uh, separation of amines 1 degree 2 degree and 3 degree amine let us take primary secondary and tertiary amine in these vessels here is primary 1 degree 2 degree and 3 degree amines these all amines are in liquid state 1 degree 2 degree 3 degree amine are in liquid state First of all, we have to add diethyl oxalate in these vessels containing primary, secondary and tertiary amine. Diethyl oxalate. Diethyl oxalate. Oxalate. The formula of diethyl oxalate is oxalic acid COOH and COOH but here is oxalate diethyl. So, Replacing hydrogen from oxalic acid, ethyl group is present here C2H5 and C2H5. When this diethyl oxalate adds added in this 1 to 3 degree this vessels, then this 1 degree amine react with diethyl oxalate and form solid plus alcohol. And 2 degree amine react with diethyl oxalate and form liquid plus alcohol. And 3 degree amine do not react with diethyl oxalate. So 3 degree amine is in liquid state. So it remains same liquid. Liquid. Here solid plus alcohol, liquid plus alcohol and liquid. This solid is separated by now separated by fractional sorry uh, this solid is now separated by filtration method and remaining other are all liquids first of all we do filtration after this we do filtration here and this solid Solid com is residue. Here is solid. In residue, there is solid. And in filtrate, there is alcohol, liquid, and liquid. And this liquid is this liquid is diethyl oxamic ester, and this liquid is three degree amine. This is three degree amine, and this is dialkyl oxamic ester and in this filtrate all this liquid are presence in this filtrate all this liquid are presence this all liquid are present so separation of liquid by fractional distillation fractional distillation method distillation after fractional distillation first of all 3 degree amine is 3 degree amine is separated first then on further distillation we can separate alcohol second and finally 
we separate dialkyl oxamic ester dialkyl oxamic ester let us see the chemical reaction involved in this separation method at first primary amine rnh2 we know that primary amine rnh2 react with diethyl oxalate molecular formula of diethyl oxalate is coo c2 h5 coo c2 h5 react with one degree amine here two moles of primary amine we are taking and representing is rnh2 is h n h r because this c2h5 take c2h5o take hydrogen from this amine and form alcohol so we are representing hydrogen before nitrogen so two moles of one degree amine we have to take here h n h r and another is h n h r the product form is here c2 h5 oh ethyl alcohol and this c2 h5 oh so two moles of ethyl alcohol plus two c2 h5 oh and the next product is here co now bonded with nhr nhr and here is co bonded with nhr so this is solid this is solid this is solid and the name of this compound is dialkyl oxamide dialkyl oxamide solid with alcohol this is ethyl alcohol name of this compound is diethyl oxalate and this is one degree amine and secondary amine gives liquid let us write the let us write the chemical reaction for secondary amine secondary amine gives a liquid Sec for secondary amine we have to use this diethyl oxalate again coo c2h5 and here coo c2h5 diethyl oxalate plus in secondary amines only one moles of amine is used so we are using here r2nh secondary amine is r2nh general formula so one alcohol is removed so hydrogen is representing in front of nitrogen and hnr2 and here c2h5oh will be removed and remaining part is c o n r 2 and here is c o o c 2 h 5 plus only one alcohol c 2 h 5 o h and the name of this compound is dialkyl oxamic ester and it is it is in liquid state dialkyl oxamic ester dialkyl oxamic ester primary amine react to give solid secondary amine react to give uh, give liquid that is dialkyl oxamic ester but tertiary amine but tertiary amine do not react in third three degree amine do not react r3 n plus 
COO, COO, C2, H5, COO, C2, H5. No reaction. So, in that vessels, there is solid, there is solid dialkyl oxamide, dialkyl oxamide plus C2H5OH liquid dialkyl dialkyl oxamic ester plus C2H5OH and another is 3 degree amide Now, the mixture is, now, the mixture containing dialkyl oxamide, dialkyl oxamic ester, tertiary amine and alcohol is first filter, first filter to separate the solid, separate the solid. Solid oxamide. Then we can separate this solid dialkyl oxamide that is CONHR. This is dialkyl oxamide CONHR. When treated with, we have to recover that one degree amine, so we have to treat it with potassium hydroxide and two mole of potassium hydroxide here COOK and COOK 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 plus here you can see this solid when react with KOH it gives COOK COOK this is potassium oxalate potassium oxalate potassium oxalate and 1 degree amine RNH2 RNH2 and RNH2 this RNH2 and this RNH2 because there is two moles of QS so two hydrogen is here and RNH2 is from here 1 degree amine one degree of mine is recovered here now remaining mixture is subjected to fractional distillation so in fractional distillation that compounds is distilled first which has low boiling point distill over first low boiling point compounds distill over first in that remaining mixture there is a there is a 3 degree amine 3 degree amine alcohol and dial dialkyl oxamic ester dialkyl oxamic ester 3 degree amine has very low boiling point low boiling point so 3 degree amine is distilled over first and uh, followed by alcohol because alcohol ha alcohol also uh, low boiling point it, it's about 78 degree celsius and 3 degree amine uh, has very low boiling point than alcohol it about 4, 4 to 5 degree celsius and lastly the residual 3 degree amine and 1 degree amine is separated now lastly the residual oxamic ester and residual is residual is dialkyl oxamic ester is oxamic ester is treated with aqueous QS this is treated with aqueous QS here reaction is CO NR2 here is COO C2 H5 react with KOH 
here is also two moles of QS we use and one sorry two secondary amine is recovered and here is also formation of potassium oxalate CO okay CO okay in primary amine there is also formation of potassium oxalate and secondary amine R2 here secondary amine R2 and H and plus this C2H5O H C2H5O H potassium oxalate this is this is potassium potassium oxalate this is 2 degree amine and this is dialkyl oxamic ester now residual oxamic ester is when we treated with KOS and the secondary amine is form here then we can distill over it fractional we can also do fractional distillation for this and we can recover secondary amine alcohol and potassium oxalate in different fraction this is the a very important concept of Hoffman methods and very important question for board exam and for entrance preparation